Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Yesterday, my dad asked me if uh, I had a battery that could power his full-size refrigerator all night. Uh, the reason that he asked me this is because he's going to be going in an RV, and he wants to have a supplemental battery that will uh, that he can plug in at night. And so that way he's not using his main bank uh, for just his refrigerator. So uh, I told him, I'm like, yeah, you know, I've got a battery that will, you know, it'll, it'll keep a refrigerator on all night, no problem. I, you know, I said that and I'm, I'm sure that it can, but you know what? I've never, I've never ever tested it. I've never actually, I've never taken a full lithium iron phosphate battery and, uh, just plug it into a full-size refrigerator and see how long it runs. I mean, maybe it only runs for like four hours. Who knows? So I am going to take this battery right here. As you can see, it's been on the charger all night, so it's nice and full. Let's go ahead and take it off. I'm going to take this Red Odo 100 amp hour 12 volt battery with the Alpha 1500 watt inverter. I'm going to take this upstairs and I am just going to unplug my refrigerator in my garage and I am going to plug it into this and I'm just going to see how long it runs for. As you can see I do have a, a battery monitor on here so I'm going to zero all of that out and uh, so that will keep track of the amount of time that it took and the amount of amp hours that was uh, depleted. That's the test that we're going to be doing. So let's go ahead and take this upstairs and uh, plug it into the refrigerator and start the test. All right, let's go ahead and turn on the inverter. Unplug the refrigerator. And before we plug this in, I'm going to go ahead and reset all these. All right, everything's back to zero. I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in. You see the battery's at 13.5. Uh, Runtime is zero. Energy, watt hours is zero. And uh, milliamps used is, you know, 0.3. And that's just this display. So let's go ahead and plug it in. All right, the test has begun. Uh, we'll come out in a few hours and see what we're looking at. I don't see any kind of uh, energy rating on this uh, refrigerator, but here it's a Whirlpool. And I'll go ahead and give you guys the model number. Uh, there we go, right there. So it's model number ET1. CHKXKQ03. I'll try to find more information on this on the uh, like the uh, the amount of energy that it uses per hour or something like that. So that way you kind of have a reference, and then you can look up your refrigerator and see uh, how it compares to this one. Sound good? All right, it's been three hours. Let's go ahead and look at where our battery is at now. It looks like it has used up 27.4 amp hours or 360 watt hours. 
a little bit more than a quarter of the way through. So at this rate, we're looking at 10 to 11 hours of, of, uh, of battery that can be used for this refrigerator. So we'll come back in a few hours and see where it's at. Okay, it's now 20 after 12 in the afternoon. It's been uh, five hours and 20 minutes. Let's see where we're at. Look at that, 48.4 amp hours have been used so far. So this battery is only at about 50%. So yeah, we're, we're looking at between 10 and 11 hours on a full charge. But we'll just let it keep running. Also, I wanted to let you know that this refrigerator is, uh, again, it's a Whirlpool. And it was manufactured in 2003. So it's 19 years old, by 19 or 20 years old. Um, also, I could not find anything online, like a manual or any kind of uh, uh, Energy Star rating. I think it's too old for that stuff. But I did find out that it runs at 6.5 amps at 115 volts. So, and that's running at full, it says that, that that's running at full power. So hopefully those numbers will help you determine how much, how long your refrigerator will last on one full 100 amp hour 12 volt battery. It is now 3.30 in the afternoon. Let's see what our battery's at. All right, it looks like we have used up 74.8 amp hours. Uh, we've been running for eight hours and 33 minutes now. Uh, yeah, the voltage on this battery is still 12.9, so we're still good. And uh, yeah, it'll still run for, it's still gonna run for another couple hours. So let's keep on going. All right, well, I've been doing this all day because this battery just will not stop. Uh, let's go ahead and check out what the voltage and the amperage shows now. <clears throat> okay, it shows that we've used 92 amps, 92.1. Um, our voltage is at 12.4. Uh, the actual battery, the little battery gauge right here is actually starting to go down. So I think this battery is uh, on its last leg. But yeah, it's been 10 and a half hours. So uh, I think we're gonna be able to reach the 11 hour mark. Yeah, this battery could easily go overnight uh, and, and be able to power your refrigerator, uh, you know, in your, in your RV or in your house, like I'm doing right now. So I will let you know the final results. All right, well, I just heard the uh, inverter starting to beep. So let's see what we're at. Voltage is at, it starts to beep at 10.5, so we're at 10.3, uh, 97.3 amp hours. Uh, Runtime was 11 hours and 12 minutes. And it will probably be shutting off, I think it shuts off at 10. And there we go. So that, let me turn this off. Uh, you could safely say that if you charge this battery, if you charge this battery to 100%, you can run a refrigerator for 11 hours. I would say that would be overnight. I mean, that's almost half a day. So if you have any questions about how I did this test, uh, please leave them in the comments. Uh, if you like this video, please uh, hit that like button. And if you like my content, please subscribe. It really helps out. Thank you so much and have a great day. Bye-bye.